So, hello fellow coin collectors. Well, I started making videos again as I've run out of ever videos. Today, I'm just going to show you some East German commemorative coins. Now, these are high denomination coins, uh, 5, 10 and 20 marks. And these ones wouldn't have actually been used in circulation because they actually had banknotes. But the mint it seems to be quite high compared to the population. Uh, for commemorative coins, they only actually issued uh, 5, 10 and 20 marks. Uh, they didn't issue anything higher or anything lower in denomination. But they did issue these coins in various metals, like all these ones are copper, nickel, zinc. Like this coin here is uh, like a little bit of a brownish colour, so it has more zinc in it than uh, these other coins. And some of these coins are copper and nickel. They also issued silver ones, but I do not have any. And all these commemorative coins have the A mint mark. or well, most of them do. Some are lacking a mint mark, but they were all produced at the Berlin Mint. So here I have um, the 1971. That's the coat of arms of East Germany and Deutsche Demokratische Republik, which just means German Democratic Republic, and five marks. And on this side, it has the Halbstadt der DDR, so capital of East Germany, and it has Brandenburg Gate, which used to be like a, a trading gate. Oh, it was built sometime in the 1700s. I can't remember specifically the date, but that one just celebrates Berlin as the capital of um, East Germany. If you don't know, Berlin was actually divided into East and West. Berlin and here I have another coin just this would be the obverse it just has the coat of arms and on this side it uh, just has a commemoration the 20 years of East Germany which uh, existed from 1949 to 1969 so Svanzige Jahre DDR Deutsche Demokratische Republik and that was actually minted, I think there's like 50 million of these coins minted. So, then we get on to the uh, 10 marks. So, do the 1972 one first. So, this just has the denomination, the country name, and the coat of arms. And if we show this side, it says uh, Man und Gedenkstätte Buchenwald. So, Buchenwald was a concentration camp, and this commemorates that. I don't know. That looks like it's actually the memorial, so memorial to Buchenwald. And which person? Uh, not that one. Let's have a look. Ah, uh, this guy. Ernest Feldman. He was a communist. And he actually died in Buchenwald concentration camp, so it's pretty much a death camp anyway, for any dissenters. And the other 10 mark, so it has a denomination, a date, the mint mark, and this one commemorates the World Youth Games. So this one commemorates the World, Goof, uh, World Youth Games, 1973. I'll start the DDR, the Junge und Studenten, so the children and students, World Fest Spielen, and it has the actual logo of the games in Berlin. So I did it 10 marks, and the 20 marks are showing this one already. Okay, Ernest Wellman was a communist leader. Then we have uh, Heimich Mann who was uh, uh, one of the first earlier leaders of uh, East Germany and typical 20 marks and this one we have oh, oh cute Ernest Feynman and this one is Frederick von Schiller now I'm not too sure about him obviously he's not a communist because he, he, he was born in 1759 and died in 18... 05. So he actually, ooh, yeah, 
predated Marx, which is uh, about 1840 when he wrote his manuscript. So those are East German commemorative coins. The silver ones are actually quite more valuable, but these ones are awesome. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Um, these ones are pretty easy to get. Yeah, they're about five to fifteen dollars each, depending on the condition and depending on the mintage. So, thank you, and have an awesome coin collecting time, people. Bye bye.